What's up creatives, it's Seb here. So the other day on Instagram, I posted a video about can you tell the difference between this 30 FPS and 60 FPS clip? And it turns out quite a lot of you guys asked me how I did this. So that's exactly what we've been covering in this video on how you can easily interpolate a 30 FPS video into a 60 FPS video. Now, before we get started, you might be asking yourself why exactly you'd want to do this. Well, there are two main reasons. The first reason is if you have a 30 FPS video and it looks really choppy, well, transforming this into a 60 FPS video is going to allow you to have a smoother looking video and it's just going to look a lot smoother and your motions are going to be fluid and the second reason is if you want to add slow motion to a clip but by mistake you have a 30 fps clip or you forgot to shoot in 60 or 120 frames well adding this interpolation is going to allow you to have smooth slow motion so then you can add slow motion to any clip you have so before we get started don't forget to smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already and let's get right on with this tutorial. So welcome back to the editing desk. I know it's been a while since we've done a tutorial, but like I said, I'm gonna show you how to easily transform your footage and two times the FPS. So if you have a 25 FPS, you can transform that to 50 FPS or 30 to 60, you get the gist. So in order to do this, we're gonna be using a free AI tool, which is essentially gonna be doubling our frame rate. So in order to download this, all you have to do is head over to the Flow Frames website. And here you can see you've got a quick example of a 30 FPS clip turned into 60 FPS. FPS and it's then slow mode. So in order to download this, you just have to click on download now. And then if you wanna make a donation, you can make a donation. But if not, you can just do no thanks, just take me to the download. And then all you have to do is click on this button right here and install the software. Once you've done that, you should have a software which looks exactly like this. In order to start converting your footage, just click on the interpolation section. And then we're just gonna add a video. So select browse video. So I'm gonna add a clip of a random guy dancing. We can take a quick look at it. Um, right now, let me open it up. So this is the clip that we're gonna be transforming into 50 FPS. And the reason why I'm saying 50 FPS is because this is a 25 FPS clip, which is essentially the same format as 30 FPS if you were in the US. So once we've added our video right here, you can see we have the output FPS and speed. So this is the base FPS 25. We're gonna change it to two times. So essentially it's gonna to equal to 50 FPS. Now you do have the option to have it as two times, four times, so that would change it to 100 FPS. Now we're just gonna transform it into 50 FPS, and then you also have the option to have normal speed, two times slow-mo, four times slow-mo, you get the gist. Once you've done that, you can leave all of the settings as they are, you just have to click on the interpolate button right here, and now what that's gonna do is start encoding your footage and transform that into a 25 FPS clip into a 50 FPS clip. So what we're gonna do now is compare the 25 FPS clip and the brand new 50 FPS clip which was transformed or encoded by flow frames. Now, if we slow both of these clips to 50%, you can really see the difference. On the left side, as you can expect, it's very choppy, but on the right side, it just looks super good, super nice and super smooth. And you can see how the slow motion works really well. Now, a quick note, this isn't gonna be perfect because it is an AI learning tool and you will notice some weird frames if you actually pay close attention. But overall, for 95% of the people, this does the job and it works really, really well. All of that being said, I think this is a really awesome free tool you can use to slow down your old footage if you shot in 25 or 30 FPS so you can get some really nice slow motion. I hope you did enjoy this video and if you did, smash the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.